Now, let's go inside the building. Ah, find and interact with all the elements in the corridor to gain entry to Hout's apartment. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh. ah, that's it. Okay. That dog is so unfriendly. Maybe a food treat treat will calm him down. Glass shard might be useful. My neighbor Howard Kelly behaves oddly. There's constant noise in his room, including shouting and murmuring. My child can't fall asleep. He is afraid of this neighbor. Take measures. Oh, it is a noisy neighbor. What was he doing? Uh. Wait a second. Nothing. 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 Eh. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, yes. Glass. Sorry. Okay, no. <laughs> We're not gonna... Uh, we're not gonna hurt the dog. Don't worry about that. Um, but what can he do with this glass shard? That's the only item that we are allowed to use. Uh, outside, inside. Yeah. You're only allowed to use the glass shard. Warning, I want it. Harold Cook. He rented apartments in your house. Give all the information at this phone number. A missing person. I wonder what happened to him. What do we have to cut? The light bulb is way too hot. I need a towel or something so I don't burn myself. I see a chicken in that bag, but I can't get to it. Oh yeah. I'll take that. You don't need that. And this dog gets to eat your lunch now. It's too dark in here. Glove. And you also don't need light. Sorry, miss. But this is more important. Uh, no. Aha. Uh -huh. This is tricky. I better remove the scaffolding carefully. Yeah. Yeah. And the green ones. And this green one. And this blue stuff. And yellow. Uh, not yellow. Uh, green. No. Blue. Whatever. And this thing and done. Great. Here I am finally at Howard's door. Now I need to unlock the door. Good that I have his key. I don't believe it. Is that a human body? Creepy. This whole wall is devoted to me. Why are these walls covered in drawings? Judging by the time, Howard must be in my house now. I need to find out why he attacked me. Task complete. Get into Howard's apartment. New task. Explore the living room in Howard's apartment. Find the first clue. I managed to get into his apartment. It's very frightening. A dead body is on his sofa. It's the landlord of his apartment. The walls are full of signs. I must figure out what's happening here. Oh, uh, it is the landlord? He's dead. 
Oh. So that happened to the missing landlord. That man is dead. Suppliers would be really uh, helpful right now. Okay, yeah. Must free the bird, otherwise it will starve to death. At a wheel? For outside, okay. Um, but that's a morphing object. <laughs> Looks like a push button fits here. Ah, oh, there's more. I don't think I find the key for the slug. Maybe I should use more radical measures. Hmm. What do we have here? Uh, uh, wait. Why can't people understand my passion for the dark arts? It's a science. I want to succeed just like my professor. It was a stroke of luck to find this book of dark magic at the library. The old amulet was another pleasant surprise. I wonder, is it as old as the book? Howard was interested in mysticism and the occult sciences. What's the book he mentioned? And what is this amulet? Find out what Howard did with the mage's amulet. Dreamcatcher. I never told him used to sit here and I have to find the book with the red spine that's missing. Um, the first clue is the list of books from the library. There are plenty of books on magic. What, usual, uh, what unusual passions Howard has. Maybe these hobbies made Howard mad. Or maybe that's how he got... Um, maybe that's how... No, wait a second. Could be possible that the amulet, just like the one in... Uh, what was it again? Just like in the story with James and Elizabeth, that the amulet um, was possessed and that maybe that way he also got possessed by a demon or a ghost or whatever and that ghost then wanted to kill us and now he's inside Jackie there's an entire investigation of me on this wall my house on the map photos notes how it prepared thoroughly for his attack Oh no, I missed... Okay. <laughs> that was the first one here, and I missed every other uh, mosaic piece in the first level. <sighs> That's bad. So, uh, I definitely have to find the others as well. No. Can I move to the left and to the right here? I can't. That's a moving object. And that's another mosaic piece. Ah, uh, I did not look for them properly. And uh, the in the other um in the first level. Hmm. Need to find one more ID card. Jacob, electrician, elephant games. Oh, Jacob is an electrician. This looks like a real picture. Is that? It, is there an actual guy named Jacob working at elephant games? <laughs> they just put a picture of him with a um, safety hand in their game. <laughs> okay, that's that's nice. Oh, that's really cool. Wait. Wasn't there like... Living room? Oh. 
Oh yeah. That's where the ancient coin belongs and the statue and the dream catcher. Good. Now. Swap the collection objects to recreate the pattern seen above. You can only swap neighboring objects with at least one similar feature. This also includes objects on the diagonal. So I can swap the... Oh yeah, it shows me the objects that I can swap them with. Good. So... You need to be here. Um, you need to be over here. Good, then, wait, I need to swap the coin, and the animals, and that's it. That's a safety lock. But for what? Mm. <laughs> Sit. Wait. Ah. Oh. That's it. I need something to push out this button. Multi tool. Yeah, I know it's called multi knife and not multi tool, but still. No! My knife totally melted. No! The most useful item ever! I destroyed. No! Uh, I got a push button. I'd have rather kept the multi knife. Ah, uh, well. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. <laughs> now we can go into the kitchen. Rats, the window uh, lock is nearly rusted shut. No one takes care of this place. Well, you can't really blame the landlord for not taking care of this place, huh? He kinda has an excuse. <laughs> what? Great, I can sharpen the knife here. What knife? What knife? Tell me what knife. I don't have a knife. I wonder where I can find an apple-shaped amulet to open this. It won't open without a handle. Can heat up some food in the microwave. Uh, that's nice and all, but I don't have a knife or anything like that. Hmm. <laughs> Was there a knife somewhere for me to take? I only have a letter wheel and this thing, which needs two eyes to open. Oh, that's the scene again. Pliers would be helpful. I don't have pliers on me right now. Over here. Amulet, a totem, a book. No. Can't open that. Oh, I can reheat some pizza. Okay. And now I have something to eat. Um.
Yes, so <laughs> could sharpen a knife you I don't that I don't have. I can't open this without a handle. Hmm. Help me say something, I don't know what to do. Need a rose to open this, a knob for the shredder. It reminds me of a post in the corridor, this man is wanted and Howard killed him. What knife? I can heat up something in the microwave. Okay. Hmm. Give me a minute. Ah, uh, <clears throat> so I made a small break and I found a moving object here that I accidentally clicked on before restarting the recording. Um, yeah, so... I... was trying to figure out what to do. That's the man that got killed by Howard. Okay, I did that already. That's Jacob, we remember this guy. Uh, I still need a ladder wheel, okay. I reheated the pizza. I don't know how to open these two. I don't know how to open this. Don't know how to open... Ah. Ah, that's this thing. Right. Got it. What? Rotate the disc on the briefcase, clasp until the colors and all three rings line up. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh no, wait. Red has to be at the top. Good enough. Broken handle. The handle is broken. But I can fix it, just need to straighten it, then glue the pieces together. Okay. And now I have both letter wheels, so... Enter the electrician's name on his back. The man's ID card will be a hint. Rotate the letter wheels until they spell out the name on the business card. G J Ah. Wooden bar. Just the right size for an elephant. If I could find a way to carve the wood. Hmm. Blue and pliers. Uh, can I use the pliers to straighten this? Yes. And glue. That's it. Thank you, Jacob from Elephant Games. You were very useful. Now, what's inside his fridge? Ah. Uh, oh. One, two, three, and where's the fourth one? Where's the fourth gingerbread? Uh, man. Um. Where is it? Here is it. No! 
Okay, ball, feather, protector, burger, ice cream, rose, cupcake, mushroom, machine parts, caterpillar, pasta, shutter. Uh, that's the feather. A caterpillar. Protector. Yeah, we have this thing. Now, cupcake, mushroom. Mushrooms? Pasta over here, cupcake, mush, machine part, that's the burger. Still looking for the cupcake, ice cream, rose, rose over here. Ice cream, a ball, cupcake, machine parts, machine parts. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> but why? Okay, that's the ice cream. And a cupcake. Tell me, where's the machine part? Here it is. Okay, paper shredder part. Um, no, no. Assemble the torn pieces into a readable letter. Oh yes. Okay, uh, sure, uh, this one, okay, uh, perfect. Howard, I can only say one thing, the last couple of days you've changed, you're scaring me, as if you... Possessed. As if you dwarful possessed, I think we need to leave, sorry, bear. <laughs> Strange. I hear voices in my head. It's as if the amulet is talking to me. It wants me to become its master. I knew it. I was struck by a strange energy the second I touched this amulet. I became different, stronger somehow. Ah, I knew it. The amulet was possessed. Howard took something from the book, a magical powers, or something even stronger. Try to find evidence of Howard's dual personality. And that's a code 7328. Uh, new diary entry. I found a letter to Howard from a girl. She writes that Howard had changed a lot. Yes, you can see it with the naked eye. Murders some ritual. Howard, what else are you hiding? But it wasn't his fault, he just... Well... Um, I guess technically it... Okay. I guess technically it was his fault since he was interested in dark magic and... You know... You kinda should know that this stuff doesn't end well. But I don't think he actually wanted to hurt people. And that... What am I supposed to do with you, huh? And then this whole thing just kind of escalated after he um, got possessed by the amulet's magic. Okay. Seven three two eight. Um, how was I supposed to use this code? <laughs> Wait, I use pliers on this. Hello. Yeah. 
Hello? Don't you think you can trick me? I'm gonna find your hitbox. What the heck? Okay. Hmm. That's the card, right. Seven, three, two. The code you found in the paper shredder is the clue. Enter it on the keypad to open the cabinet door. What do I get? Acid. Acid. Get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Uh no. Oh yeah, asset, of course. Uh, what is this? Oh my god. Good thing that he killed his landlord, otherwise <laughs> the landlord would have probably killed him if he saw that. Ah, uh, the door is even more secure than all the other ones. What's the matter? Hmm. Blunt knife. That's the knife. Yeah. I. Okay. 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 Give me a second. Uh, I need to find one more animal for this picture. Weird. What is Howard hiding in here? Ah, uh, let's go back into the kitchen. 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 Okay. I'm just gonna use the map. Come on. Sharpen the knife. Now we make an elephant out of this. One more. And done. And now we can use the elephant here. Arrange the animals according to their height. The tallest one should be first. Okay, giraffe, elephant, a hippo, lion, and then whatever that was. That's the missing totem. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Bent iron flower. Then use the pliers to unbend it. And now we can free this little parrot. And oh, you don't look so good, huh? Uh, are you hurt? Do you want a treat? I'll take that. Um, I also get a room key. Probably for this room. 